Hey friends, last week I was working on ad removal from my indie applications and I wrote newsletter about it as well and I got quite interesting feedback and maybe I was wrong removing ads from my apps. There are three reasons why I decided to remove ads from my applications. So the first one, they are bad for user experience. I just think they look ugly, also they hurt paying customers as well and you can probably earn more without ads but I could be wrong on this point, but let's go step by step. Is there money in mobile ads? Of course, you can earn relatively good money if you are ready to show full screen ads. On those, you can earn the most of the money. And the banners that I use are less annoying, uh, but you will get about five times less money as well. Okay, so let's talk about user experience. You added this banner in your application, you expect that will be something small somewhere on the bottom of application and that will not kind of hurt user, user still be able to use the application, but you have no control about look and feel of this banner. So before integrating those banners, think twice imagine kind of worst case scenario what you could see in those ads and the worst looking ad in the application and if you fine with that yeah go for it implement that so but then you may think that okay paying customers will not see those ads and uh, yeah you are kind of right but paying customers still have this all those ad libraries also installed on device purchases io and device kits those are different kind of libraries but all of the rest basically are firebase you're adding just firebase and firebase will add all of the rest boring ssl what else not uh, google app measurement bunch of stuff you just don't know what is inside but you just i don't know you run it and hope for the best you know so also if you have all those uh, libraries added you have to update your app store page with all the details about data tracking and so on some of the users do not care about all that app privacy data tracking all that stuff but there are still plenty of those who care about that and could decide to don't install your application at all because you basically tracking every, everything that's possible okay what was my plan and what do i see here for example for my habit tracking application i see about five bucks in revenue before taxes and that is not for one month that is basically all the revenue signs up launching those are from it's almost six months, yeah, it's almost six months. It's close to nothing, you know. I posted about this experiment on threads as well, and I tried Admo five years ago, and it made me literally two bucks in a year or so, having a few thousands of users. So basically, from few thousands of users, two bucks. So experience can be very, very different. For me, it was horribly bad, horribly low, basically five bucks in six months from all the users that I had that doesn't make even sense to show those ads. I used ad banners in my freediving application as well and that application has a bit more users but same it generated about 20 to 50 bucks in a month not a big amount of money not too much not enough to kind of break up interface and user experience. So for freediving application I implemented my own application premium version kind of banner and I did exactly the same for my small habits application. I was pretty sure that ads doesn't make sense at all and that is basically waste of time just wasting I don't know user experience and breaking your application but I got some interesting feedback. There are basically few things to try. Like for example Brett said that basically he implemented custom ad system which rotates ads for his own apps so that is something that i was thinking about as well i don't know if you have kind of related if you have applications in related niches that could work this answer was kind of interesting so lauren thank you for feedback he's getting about 20 percent of monthly revenue so 20 percent that's kind of tricky metric you know because maybe he's not getting kind of enough money from in a purchases which could be fixed on the upside yada yada we don't know but generally 20 percent that's quite big money if you kind of making i don't know thousand in sales which I'm making and uh, if I could add 20% like 200 bucks in a month that's quite a lot you know but I make even more you know that could be something like 600 maybe so but tricky metrics you know but there is also kind of interesting kind of information so he have well over 
10,000 monthly active users. But revenue depends on a lot how many impressions you're able to show to users and what CPM you are getting. Basically, the longer user spends time in the application, the more you are able to earn. So, depends on your application and use cases, right? Also, he's talking about kind of users or auditory quality. That's Oh, that's absolutely true. CPM heavily depends on the user's region. I see the same on YouTube. For example, I have about 15% maybe auditory from the US. It's that auditory paying well <laughs> for ads. And there are about the same amount of auditory from India. And that market is not so well paid. Basically, you're getting less money for that. And uh, YouTube is tricky. My content is around tech stack and my auditory is tech savvy. So most of you are using ad blockers. So <laughs> I'm getting almost zero kind of money from ads. Okay, whatever. But basically, really nice uh, thread from Lorin. Also, I got one answer, one feedback in email. That was an answer on my email's newsletter. Basically, he's running similar business like mine and... What he's saying, don't use banners and use native ads, just few interstellars. And with 150k, 150,000 monthly active users with this structured strategy, he's making about two and a half thousand euros per month in utility up basically just with ads. After reading all that feedback, I'm feeling that I have to go back <laughs> to my experiment with ads and test not only banners, but those uh, native um, ads and interstellars. Because, yeah, I did the test with banners. The test is still valid and my all my opinion, all those things are valid. But immediately I got I'm happy that I did this test. I got my results and I got this feedback and immediately I had to go back and redo my test and test basically different ad strategies. And yeah, there is one more kind of interesting thing. On GitHub, there is a library named Billboard and Billboard library basically is like ads, but for other indie applications. So all of that is very interesting. So next steps that I will do is native banner testing. I will do that. We'll see how that will work. And I think I could kind of um, implement it nicely in the application without looking ugly. Basically, you can add those in scroll views, stuff like that. We'll see. At least uh, that definitely makes sense to test that in the test project. So that's my to-do for next week, probably. And then I will run those ads for a bit again and we'll come back to you with a report how that works. Is it work? Does it make sense to do that? Stuff like that. Next week I will be in vacation, but I would like to keep those updates like weekly. We'll see how that will go. Let me know. Hit those thumbs up if you like to see updates like that to see what I'm doing week by week.